Welcome to this joint conversation between me, Kate MacDonald, Handheld Press, and Lucinda Gosling of the Mary Evans Picture Library. We're going to be talking about book covers because a lawful lot of the Handheld Press book covers come from Mary Evans. And then we have two more. We have DK Broster from the Abyss. Yeah. Another collection of short supernatural by a woman who is actually very well known. When I was growing up, DK Broster was she was like Jean Plady. She was like Nigel Tranter. She wrote historical fiction about the 45 in Scotland and other historical events. Mm. But she was a historical novelist your granny had on her shelves. And yeah, you know, yeah. she was part of the wallpaper. I had no idea that she wrote supernatural short fiction until Melissa Edmondson put one of her stories into Women's Weird. Um, couching on the floor, which is about a feather boa that comes back to do dreadful things to the man who abandoned the owner of the boa. Um, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Wow. <laughs> so we have this really strange collection of supernatural short stories, but finding an image to encapsulate the whole was hard. And in the end, I just went for women. Look, pictures of women 1920s because that's yeah, yeah. all I could think of and then we got this extraordinary picture of a woman in the black black fur and the stonking great jewels and the cloche hat and her face and the looks, cigarette yeah it's um it's by I mean it's I love the story of this artist it's an artist called Gordon Conway mm -hmm. who was it, despite being called Gordon was a woman and she was came from tech she was a Texan Wow, I had no idea she was a woman. Oh, yeah. that's even better. Oh, yeah. wow, great. Um, she was she she was a, a, a fashion designer mm -hmm. and a costume designer. And she came to London um, in the sort of late 1920s, designed for a lot of stage shows, and at the same time was providing illustrations for various magazines, Eve magazine, then Britannia and Eve, and also mm -hmm. the Tatler. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she might just do, an you know, like I said, the, these magazines just wanted illustration yeah. and they were re they really celebrated 1920s you know, modern 1920s mm. women mm. and she had this very stylized look about her women with these almond eyes and you know thin noses and thin yeah. lips and just very stylish and their cloche hats and this picture is just an absolute stunner isn't it it you is know? um it's i think it's been used for a greetings card before oh, and actually really? um i i did a little curation of a wall of her images at the mm -hmm. Fashion and Textile Museum. They did um, a oh. beautiful um, Jazz Age fashion exhibition a few years ago, mm -hmm. and they they did a lovely uh, Gordon Conway. Oh gosh, wall. yeah. And she, you know, she and I think she set up one of the first um, fashion studios for, for. I'm sorry, fashion sort of uh, costume departments at a film studio when she, when she went back to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, she had red hair, she, you know, cropped, short, she, a lot of publicity photographs um, where she always um, posed with her cat. Oh, my word. Um, she sounds a character. Yeah, Someone she, she, really she definitely for. was. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a fabulous book about her, actually, um, written by a professor, in, maybe at the University of Texas, actually. OK. Um, so, yeah, she's a very interesting character. Died quite young, unfortunately. Uh huh. Right. I think she died of something like a heart attack and, you know, overwork, probably. Mm. Wow. OK, well, it's to us all. <laughs> well, no. But, well, the yeah, image, she, when, I, when, yeah. when I showed Melissa the image, she went, it's that one. That's the one we want because it's got the black fur, which relates directly to coaching at the, the door. The feather, yeah. The yeah. yeah. So again, a perfect match. 